Hey there everyone, this is Ryan with Rocket Theme and today we're taking a look at Layout Inheritance in Gantry 5.3 and beyond. Now this guide will assume that you have already watched our video on Section Inheritance and Particle Inheritance, which will help you understand how inheritance works, its basic principles, and how to apply it to specific particles or entire sections. And what we're going to do here is we're going to kick it up a notch. And this is something that you do generally when you're setting up your new site or a new area of your site and you would like to borrow settings that you've already set up for another page to start with. Now what we're looking at right here is the example outline I created just for this tutorial and in this example outline there is nothing in any of the sections it is completely blank. Now I could have things in those sections like for example I'll go ahead and move over a local image into the navigation section and I'll save it. And this will give you an idea that whenever you inherit a layout, you're losing everything in every section and it's being replaced by whatever you are inheriting. And I'll show you how to do that inheritance right now. All you have to do is go over to the load button right here and select the outlines tab. And you can choose to keep your current particles while inheriting the outline. And what that'll do is it'll inherit the different sections. Like for example, if one outline has a header, an intro, a features, a utility, it will move those sections over, but it will keep your current particle settings. So for example, this logo image particle that I have here in the navigation section, that will stay and nothing else will move over. However, what I'm going to do for this example is I'm going to select inherit every section and its children from the selected outline. So this will actually make an entire inherited clone and every section will have its own individual inheritance setup as well as any particles inside of that section. It's very cool and I'll show you how that's done right now. Okay, I'm going to select the base outline because that's the one I'm going to move from and that's it. That's all you have to do. And I've set up inheritance for every single section of the page, including its particles. And in this case, we had not only the logo particle, but menu and social, their widths, their block settings, everything is being inherited. So this is a full synced in other words, if I made changes to the base outline, they would be reflected in the layout manager of this outline as well. Uh, copy for of everything. Now, that doesn't mean that you're stuck this way. You don't have to have every single section inherited. You can actually turn off inheritance for a specific section. Like, for example, the main bar. If I go to that section settings, I can go to the inheritance tab and I can turn inheritance off. And by doing that, I'm actually inheriting every section except for the main bar. And you can do that with anything like the footer, the sidebar, any other section as you please. It's a great way to start with something that is completely inheriting from another outline. And it doesn't have to be base. It could, for example, we could copy over everything from the home page and just change the way the main section is run or change the header section a little bit, whatever we want to do there. And we could do it just as easily. And so that's basically it. That's really all you have to know to get started with layout inheritance. And this will affect the entire outline. And it's very easy to do. It's also very easy to undo. You just hit the undo button a couple times and bam, you're right back to where you started. If you have any questions at all about what we've discussed in this video, please leave them in the comment section below. And again, I encourage you to watch the videos we did on section inheritance and particle inheritance to get a much better idea of how inheritance works as a whole. For Rocket Theme, this is Ryan saying have a great day. We'll see you again soon.